What's going on guys? It's Ryan again. Today I'm finally back with a full restoration on the Sport Blue Sixes. On our to-do list, we gotta give them a cleaning, an entire repaint, unyellow the soles, remove all these deep scratches, re-glue a few areas, and finally repair the sock liners. The first thing you should always do is put in your shoe trees. And while the shoes are washing, this is gonna help add structure back. The rubber caps are permanently damaged. They ended up tearing more, but I'll show you how you can mask them later on. Next up, I'm gonna give them a light cleaning using ordinary detergent and water. The stains are sometimes so deeply embedded in the fabric that it takes some elbow grease. I'm using a little bit of White Revive mixed into a full bottle of water. After you get some of that dirt off, we can move on to the laundry method. I like to put some detergent inside, load them inside Rejuvenator sneaker laundry bags, and put them on a cold cycle for 15 to 30 minutes. After letting them air dry outside, I'm going to get rid of the creases, notably the one on the side. It's a really easy process, you just need an iron and an old shirt. So the plan is to wet the area, push outwards, and then iron against the fold. Now we're gonna move on to the dry sanding. The goal here is to slowly work up to a smooth surface. First, I'm starting with 320. If you've never done this before, but you wanna try it, it's safer to start with a higher number, like 1000. And if it's not doing anything, you go lower. This is gonna help you make sure that you don't damage your shoes. Now I'm repeating the same step with 1000 and 1500. Also, all these sandpapers came in a multi-pack, which I will link down below. With all of that out of the way, we can remove the factory finish with acetone and cotton balls. You guys can see there's paint under the midsole and it's starting to peel off as the flap is coming off. I had to separate all sides and clean it out. The only problem is I couldn't recreate the white finish under there. I've seen people mix paint inside their glue. For me personally, it raises concerns about durability. In a situation like this, let me know what you guys would have done down below. I separated the fronts too, so that way we can glue down the whole thing. Removing the paint off this midsole was fairly easy. I'm using a product called Dad's Easy Spray, and we're using a sponge to gently wipe it off. Then we're going to use our acetone at the very end to clean off anything left. Save the acetone for the end, because the more you scrub, the more likely you are to damage your midsoles, so it's better to use it after you've done all the heavy lifting. So now I'm going to do the same regluing technique as my last video. Apply one coat of barred cement, peel your tape off, apply a second coat, wait an hour for it to cure, heat activate it to 130 to 140 degrees, and then clamp it down. It should tack on instantly. Now that everything is prepped, we can lay down the white paint.
Personally, I like to paint over the lining, but I want to make sure that I don't cake up the thread work. So by keeping my paintbrush slightly damp, it allows me to spread the paint very easily. After two coats of white, dry it with your heat gun, and now we're going to do a technique called wet sanding. This is where you take a high grit of sandpaper, like 1500 to 2000, you wet it, and you sand in a circular motion. It's going to sand down some of the white, but it's also going to get rid of any brush marks and imperfections. I only do this once or twice, but it really does make a big difference. If you have a micro detail paintbrush and a steady hand, you can actually freehand this midsole. If you want to tape it up, however, you might want to wait a little bit, because your tape can rip the paint right off. Usually I let the white paint sit for at least an hour. You want to seal up your tape, and then paint over it with white. It's going to seal in any micro gaps, and helps you make sure you get a nice crispy line. The paint mixture is roughly 55% light blue, 35% violet, and then 10% cream. Play around with these colors and you should be good to go. I put down the light blue first, and this is gonna help us save our sport blue color. So in total, it took about three light blue coats and then two sport blue coats. I'm definitely not a pro when it comes to restitching the sock liner, but by using a curved needle, it's going to make this process a lot easier. I try to patch it up as neat as I can, and then I just double knotted the thread on the left side and the right side. I'm using the back of this X-Acto knife to help us tie the knot closer to the sock liner. And then I just cut off any excess thread. For the unyellowing, you only have to tape up the surrounding areas. Apply your Salon Care 40 and wrap it in saran wrap. Also, the Salon Care will help lift any deep stains out of the rubber. Then we can scrub it with acetone and it should come back to white. Normally I don't unyellow for more than 20 hours, but for these I put them in for 50. For shoes that are heavily worn, it's going to take a very long time to bring them back. Finally, the last few steps are to clip off any loose threads, fill in any of those tears with white silicone, and lacing the shoes up with a brand new pair of laces. Also, it's really unfortunate that I couldn't find the replacement lace locks. They were sold out on eBay. There you have it guys, if you made it this far in the video, please consider dropping a like down below. As always, if you have any questions or need advice for your restorations, you can reach out to me down below or on IG. Thank you guys so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.